ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome our next winner into the room, Sinead Gleeson. So getting onto the stool is a little tricky. That dress is absolutely stunning, and Thank I you. think this matches it perfectly. Just a little bit. It's kind of swishy and swirly. Yeah, I think it coordinates with your colours. <laughs> Thank you. Now, what does it mean to you to win this award for this collection, Sinead? I am... I'm delighted, I'm totally gobsmacked. And I was just thinking about the long walk to the stage and the long gaze back over my shoulder. Um, I'm delighted, I'm delighted for the 30 riders in here, not just the, the 22 living riders, but the people who, some of whom have been forgotten and been neglected. And you know, this book is a bit of a resurrection project in, in some ways. Um, so I'm delighted from that point of view. And then four other people in this book are nominated. And Belinda, Nula and Lisa are nominated in different categories. So I'm delighted for them as well. So I'm, I'm really proud of them all. I'm honored to edit these brilliant women. So in this collection, the focus was clearly on women writers. Mm. What was your pitch to the women writers that you contacted? How did you frame it for them? Uh, I actually, I, I gave it quite a wide berth. I just said to them, please don't go over 3,000 words or this will be a very big, uncarryable book. Um, so 3,000 words and write about whatever you like. And people thought, you know, is, are there themes? Do I have to stick to something or other? I was like, write what you want. And that was brilliant because I didn't know what I was going to get back. It was going to be you know, really diverse and really different. And I didn't, I, kn I knew there'd be some themes that relate to being a woman, but a lot of them weren't. A lot of them are just every man, universal sort of stories. Now, recently, there's been much controversy around women's writing. Indeed, mm. we've seen the campaign happen with the Abbey and Waking the Feminists and your collection here too. Yeah. What do you think it says about the focus on women's writing at the moment? How are you feeling about that? I think it's a really great overlap that Waking the Feminists happened because, again, part of the reason that this book came about is that I noticed that in anthologies that women's voices were excluded or there were two or three, or it was the same two or three women and I wanted to address that balance because we see it on shortlists and we see it with the VEDA statistics every year and I just wanted to champion great women so the Abbey happening was just here we are same old thing again women's voice has been marginalized and pushed to the side but then people speak up and this book is a way of speaking up just as Waking the Feminist spoke up. Now one of the most fun launches I was at was for this book and Anne Enright launched the book for great you. Great speech yeah. Yeah and she talked about the fact that that sentence the cat sat on the mat yeah that if a man writes it the mat becomes nearly a moral object, a kind yeah. of a where we are. A woman writes it and it's domestic. Yeah. And it got a great cheer in the room, but a kind of a bittersweet cheer. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's a great writer called Catherine uh, Angel who's doing an, an event in London this week, and she says that when we think of the word writer, the default is man, male writer. We, don't, we say women writer, but we never say man writer or male writer. Mm -hmm. So it's always like the important, proper people who are writing the big books are the men, and it's not often um, the women. But I, I think that Anne's speech was brilliant. I, I mean, I had people laughing, and she said something really interesting about women's voices and post-boom voices. She said, you know, you don't need one voice, you need a wave. And, you know, it's just strange that the cover of this book is sort of quite wave-like, but it is about that it's 30 women women's voices also speaking loudly at once about loads of different things. Now, really bad news for you. Oh, God. This has got the feel of a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I keep being asked this, and it's funny, like, there are people who are nominated. The, the newcomer category tonight is amazing. It's six women, and some of those women were, were, had not emerged, weren't on the horizon by the time I was putting this book together. And when they started to emerge, I was like, damn, my book is full, the deadline's passed. People like Sarah Baum or Danielle McLaughlin, Katrina Lally. Um, so there, there might be room, uh, you know, I need two years to do it, but I, I might take it on a couple of years. OK, well, listen, Sinead, for tonight, Enjoy your success. Thank you. Really super win. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you.